Today's video is a very exciting one in the beat selling vlogs. This is classed as a beat selling vlog video. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you'll know what entails with these. It's a little bit of an update on my own beat store, what I've been doing to get beat sales. But the one thing that's really cool about this video is I'm gonna to be touching on something which I don't think is touched upon enough by other beat sellers on this YouTube channel or just in general is not talked about enough because it is something that could be very crucial to your own beat selling journey. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because there is some really helpful information to break down in this video for you while also showing you how the month of February went for me. Now, the reason why this is a really interesting month in terms of the beat selling vlog is because February is meant to be my worst month of the year as a beat maker. At least that is according to the beat tracker from 2023 that I did where I recorded every single one of my sales so I could see when and where they came from. I've done another beat tracker for 2024, but this one is so much more sophisticated and gives us access to data, which I didn't have in 2023, so I can get the best understanding of my own beat store. And that's the whole point of this video. The most important thing that you need to be doing as a beat maker is knowing your beat store in and out, and every single little bit of data you can use to your advantage. And one of the bits of data which is really important is spotting trends and patterns in your own beat selling, which if you watch till the end of this video, you'll get a better understanding of what I mean by that when I apply that premise to my own beat store in a second so firstly let's just get the all important fun information out of the way and that is how much did i earn in february now this was always going to be an interesting month as i said is because it's such a quiet month last year in total i made just under 300 dollars selling beats in february so the main objective in february was just to do better than that because i wanted to always make sure that this year i'm doing everything better than i did last year so i'm actually growing as a beat seller so let's have a look at the results so as you can see here this is my magic 2024 beat beat tracker where I'm basically monitoring everything in terms of my beat selling. This is basically my whole beat store in Excel format. And when I read this, I get the best understanding of what's actually going on. Now, all these graphs here are very helpful to me in understanding how I'm actually doing and how the beat store is progressing in 2024, directly compared to how I did in 2023. This first graph here shows how much I made every week uh, from week one to week 52, because obviously there's 52 weeks in a year. The whole purpose of this graph is to try and spot some trend patterns throughout 2024, which directly correlates to 2023. Now, to put that more simply, trying to spot months in the year where I make more sales than others, see if there's any seasonal impact on my beat selling, and if there's anything in common between 2023 and 2024 that I can consider as periods where I should be focusing on trying to get more beat sales in terms of offering coupons and bulk deals, and other times that I could take my foot off the pedal because I know that I'm going to have busy months anyway. Now, it's safe to say in the month of February, I actually smashed my 2023 total, earning a lot more, and this was thanks to selling on multiple beat selling platforms and getting an invoice sale as well for an exclusive. The exclusive alone was $200 that I got where I invoiced to someone they were gonna buy it on Soundy, but one little problem I found with Soundy is when it came to a negotiation offer, they had to pay a monthly subscription in order to weirdly submit and pay for a negotiation. So we just settled it outside of Soundy. This would have actually been a sale through Soundy otherwise, which would have been a really cool bonus because Soundy's actually done okay this month. BeatStars was absolutely quiet. I'm going to show you the complete breakdown now. But excluding invoices, Soundy still maybe $164 in the month of February. Airbit itself actually made me $85. I made three sales this month on the Airbit marketplace, which is another pretty good month. Airbit's definitely started to pick up for me now, which is really cool. Again, it's not a lot, but it's just a little bit of extra beat sales here and there. And then Beat Stars again was a little bit of a dip, very similar to last year, which of $261.40. It was $481.60 gross, but with the discount and obviously the beat stars charge it was 261 dollars in the end which is okay i was expecting that so i'm not too down about that because obviously this is by far the worst month that i'm gonna have of the year selling beats it's obvious but it's good to know that we actually made more than triple what we made last february this february which shows progress to the beat store now some really interesting data which i've actually managed to divulge from breaking down everything is there seems to be a common pattern which is starting out the year now the green line represents all my sales in 2023 over 52 weeks and the blue line represents 2024 and as you can see the pattern is incredibly similar but what does this mean for me as a beat seller well what this means is there definitely seems to be a direct correlation between sales and customer habits in 2023 to 2024 on when customers are more active at buying beats at least for my beat store so it's very clear to see that february is a very quiet month and how i can use this information going forward is looking at all these dips as potential times to do some sort of seasonal offers or to try and really incentivize getting more beat sales to make them quiet periods a lot more beneficial and get 
more sales. And this last graph down the bottom here is a personal favorite of mine because this directly tracks 2024 and 2023 side by side. So we can see how one year is performing to the other. Again, why would you want to know this information? Well, for me, this is more of sort of like motivation to know that if I'm performing better or performing worse than I did in a certain time. And also you can try and spot any sort of similarities between them. Because again, it will give you a good understanding of when you could expect to have months of busy periods where maybe you want to actually focus on trying to make the most of the busy periods or you want to try and focus on the quiet periods. I've said this a lot, but this is a really good way to try and make consistent beat sales rather than just relying on little bursts of beat sales. And also just knowing this as well will keep you motivated in the quiet times, knowing that you're going to have periods where you get more sales than others. It's just good to understand customer behaviors because again, it's just a really good way to understand customer behaviors as well.